Okay. And like, you know, there's editing and all that, so it's all good. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. <laughs> all right. So I'm here with my beautiful friend, Jake. What up, bitches? <laughs> all right. So today we're going to be doing the Brazilian butt lift, and we're also going to be doing the breast lift. So this is a non-invasive treatment, so there's no pain, there's no surgery. It's natural results. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, my question is like, is there like any downtime for this? Can I still go to the gym? Yes, so you can definitely still go to the gym. There is no downtime. So let's say after your treatment, we do actually recommend doing extra like uh, squats and stuff like that. So you have more volume to the area and then there's more results. Okay, way. wonderful. I'm a gym girl. So like I need the permanent results, girl. Yes, per. yes. Ask, how many sessions do you need to get like full on like more permanent results okay, with the gym? So, so normally we do recommend doing uh, twice a week your sessions. You can also do it three times a week but twice is very ideal and you can do a space apart or you can do it like close together, it doesn't matter. And as well, six to eight sessions is ideal and then you can always come back for touch-ups at least once or twice a year. Wonderful. I just wanna look like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that's my last question, you know? Girl. Yes, yes. And also like for the breast lift, is it like the same amount of downtime, same amount of like, yeah, so for the breast lift, it's still non-invasive as well. So it's different for everyone. Some people have smaller breasts, some people have larger breasts. Mm -hmm. Same for the butt too, the same thing, different sizes. But breasts also comes into different comparison. But we're going to be working on pecs. So because it's pecs, we're giving that extra volume to your pecs. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to check out these questions, girl, because yes. I'm just ready to get it started, yeah. you know? Um, for the girls who have no glutes, yes. how will this help them? This will help them tremendously. They will see results because the idea is that we're using uh, wood therapy. We can use wood therapy. We can also use cupping therapy to help bring all the fat and cellulite to the area to give that volume that you need. And then after we put the cups and those cups help to volumize even more. So the more the client does the sessions, the more results that they see. And it's the same thing for the breast. And also like, let's say for the breast, we do recommend like massaging as well, just to help keep that volume. Get you a man that can massage your breast girl, yeah. per. <laughs> yes. I'm too much. Yeah. Anyways, how long is it? Like for like the butt lift and how long is for the breast lift? How long is like the Okay, session? so you can do 30 minute sessions, you can do 45 minute sessions, or you can even do 60 minute sessions. It all depends on how much the client wants to pay for. Okay. Okay, cool. so normally, let's say for a one hour session, mm -hmm. it can cost about $115. Um, also, there are promotions, like let's say if you do a 30 minute session, sometimes it can cost you about $65. Okay, wonderful. And, we'll, we'll, and how long will we be doing the session for today? Okay, so for today, we're going to be doing um, 30 minute sessions each mm -hmm. because you're doing both. Okay, wonderful. Yes, but you're still going to see results. Okay. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm completely ready and I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna apply the oil. So normally when I do this, I also work from the thighs going upwards because uh, there is like water retention there too. So that helps. Okay, so I start off just by massaging. I feel that you work out. Like I can feel, <laughs> yeah, I can feel that. So I try to bring everything towards your glutes. And I also do a little bit of lymphatic drainage by opening the passageway behind your knee. And then I want to bring it up. And then I'm going to use my cup. And that cup is just going to bring it all the way to your butt. That feels amazing. <laughs> Lymphatic drainage. Oh lymphatic drainage is part of the lymphatic system. So basically, we do massages to flush out toxins out of the body. Mm -hmm. And as well, for um, for let's say when you pee or when you have to poo or something, is flushing out of that. 
And that's why a lot of times when you're doing body sculpting, mm -hmm. such as what we're doing, like lifting the butt and everything, we want to flush everything out of your system okay. so that it gives you the results that you want. Ooh. Yeah. That's why a lot of people that do like surgery, mm -hmm. um, if they do tummy tucks or BBLs, they, they need a lymphatic drainage massage to get rid of all the liquid after the surgery for their results. Because if they keep the water in, that's why they get bloated and then they get soroma and then they get fibrosis and that's why they have a lot of pain or there could be issues with the treatment after if they don't massage. So do you know how long, like how many massages they need after you get a BBL? Normally you need about 10 oh, and then even after that you still need touch-ups. So some people they do even more than 10 to be honest like I have clients that have done even 20. Oh wow. Yeah because they still need it. And you offer that here people who actually have the surgery and they can come get their little... Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I offer that as well for anyone who does tummy tucks or BBL. Oh, we'll be thinking of getting a BBL. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? I don't have BBL money. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's why like I start off with the wood mm -hmm. to really lift and like you can even see a difference already like it lifted a lot already. Really? Yeah. So if like you're like let's say you're someone that sits down like for eight hours like yeah. school, yeah. would this affect it? No, no. But you know sometimes we do say like okay don't sit for like maybe a good 30 minutes after your session. Okay. And uh, that does make a difference too. Okay. But me sitting in the car and because I have to go to Fairview after this. Me yes. sitting in the car driving to Fairview ain't going to right? No, oh. it doesn't. No. I don't know, just like kind of stand up in the car drive. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's like a major difference already. Oh my god. Yeah. I also feel so, way more relaxing. This side, I just did the wood from here. Only wood, so I still didn't even do the cupping yet. And then this is the other side. So that you can just see the comparison. Oh, really? Yeah. Please. Yeah. There you go. How does it feel? It's okay. That feels amazing. You yeah. feel stronger. It's more just one. Oh my god. Wow. So I'm glad you have high tolerance for this. So that's amazing. It just it just feels like a. I don't even know how to describe the feeling. It's just like oh wow, that's the best part. So now we're doing an extra lift with the cupping, and that will give you even nicer results because I'm basically bringing all that cellulite, which you don't have, like I don't see cellulite, but let's say if ever you do get it, mm -hmm. it's gonna bring everything to your butt and really give you that nice shape. And I'll show you the, the after picture of just this alone as well. Yeah. What is cellulite? <laughs> Cellulite is basically things that we eat mm -hmm. and it accumulates in our body and then it becomes like uh, our skin texture becomes grainy. Really? Yes. <gasps> okay, I know yeah, what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. So how do you get rid of that? Normally through body sculpting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Could you get cellulite on your face? Uh, no. It's more like the legs, the butt. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's not something like that. Right? <laughs> yeah. But then there's people that are young and they have wrinkles. 
Seriously. Well, I feel like it's just stress, isn't it? It could be stress, or let's say they're in the sun, a lot of sun exposure, mm -hmm. and they're not wearing sunscreen. Okay. And the sun can also be exposed even when it's cloudy outside, right? Of course, yes. Yeah. You can have sun exposure even through a um, window. Really? Yes. If you're standing in front of the window, that's sun exposure. Damn! Yep. I think I'll put some screen on today. Oh, yeah. People don't realize that. I for hip dips, like I have hip dips and yes. I thought like I will ever have hips. So could you fix that too with the company? Oh yeah, like we can really concentrate on your hip dips okay. and it will bring that problem. That's why like I do all of this first yeah. to help. You should see your butt looks so volumous on this side. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already feel it. It just feels amazing. Yeah. And definitely the side you're doing on, like, there's more, like, it's a bigger dip than the other one, so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know when you just stare at your body for, like, hours and yeah. hours on end, like, you realize the smallest details that no one else will find That's out. That's true. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yesterday, I was just in the mirror, I'm just, like, looking at it, like, oh my god, girl, this is what I have. Mm -hmm. So now this, I just did the cupping on that side and the wood now. So those are wood and cupping and this is nothing at all, nothing. Oh, so you can see the difference. Like sometimes I can feel it on people like they're swollen here. Really? Yeah, so the more I do this, it like literally flies. It's crazy. Like how am I swollen or no you're not swollen. No. I just can I can feel in your skin that you train. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I can still 
but you have high tolerance because some people that you really can't do this really yeah they're like in pain like you feel so well on my hamstrings that's mm -hmm, big mm -hmm. but some nope they're like whoa for me like when i get this done i'm dying really especially the cupping one this is not that bad the, the wood mm -hmm. but the cupping one i'm like please let this end <laughs> It's like it's you're suffering. I can get this done in my sleep. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. Like it's such a wonderful feeling. So now I'm gonna do a cup, but I'm gonna take another video so we can see another comparison. So now you can see like I only did the wood on that side and I'm gonna do the cupping. But you can already see the difference. Like this is still more voluminous. So that's why we do the cupping right after. It's okay? Yeah, wonderful. Okay. Okay. She just say like, when are you available? Or should she go on the website? Tell her to go on the website and book through there. Okay. Yeah. If not, she can write me, but then uh, she would have to make a, de a deposit, mm -hmm. or she can just pay directly through the website. Okay. As soon as I'm like good with my physio, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna start doing it. What about the cupping therapy? Yeah, I can do cupping. There's a promotion for thirty dollars. Yeah, normally it's eighty-five. You're still good. I enjoy it. I'm really not I can't really type. <laughs> he says he 
Ryder just both directly with you and send you a deposit. Is that okay? Yeah. He just has to write me on Instagram. video so now as you can see they are both done and I did the wood and the wood and the, the cupping and the wood again so we're gonna go straight to putting the actual cups on to give that extra volume to the butt There's a lot of volume, which looks yeah. great. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of ice. Okay, okay so it's gonna be a cold. 
And the ice cream helps. Yep, yeah, to oh. freeze it in place. That's exactly what we want. Gives like an extra boost to your skin. So this is a, uh, an exfoliant and mask, mask mixed together. Yes. So this is one of my products that I have. So my mask and my exfoliant. So this is just going to help like maintain your skin and as well let's say if you have cellulite and everything like that it helps for that as well. Oh, so that. it's really giving you an extra moisture okay. and um, it's just giving that niceness to your skin as well. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <You're so lovely. laughs> Deja vu. You know deja vu now? Yes! Yeah. Like, what the? Oh my god! <laughs> it's well, the that's... first time doing the butt lift, but what the hell is wrong with me? Yeah. Ooh, girl! I don't know what you're doing back there, but you're doing something. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna remove. Leslie Jordan? Leslie Jordan, no. Who's that? Um, like, he passed away? Yeah, today. Oh no, like, what did he play in? Girl, I don't know. He's just an icon for me, but like, um. Yeah. What did he play in? When I find out, I'll tell you, because I, yeah. I don't even know. I just no, know just go on Google. Icon. Go on Google and see what he did. 
Which movie? But he looks like he lived a long life, so that's good. Ooh, bro, well, you know, like, white people, they, they look old after 52. Like, <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you only died at 67. She was in a TV series called Will and Grace. Oh, I love Will and Grace. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I love that show. Alright, Jaheen, so I'll get you to stand up so at least we can take the after picture of this. Thank you.